you been through anything, but for me, he made Are people? 
people who throw away and waste all our money, we're going to do the same thing with a whole bunch of money. But the thing we have to look at is that to maintain things in life, where is your heart in the midst of it? If you got a little bit of money or you got a bunch of money, it won't determine much difference if your heart isn't in the right place. Amen. Some of us look at where well, I, I buy regular gas when I'm broke. <laughs> but when the income tax comes in, <laughs> and I think I got a little more money to myself, I feel myself a little more. I get the high grade. Yeah. <laughs> On a regular basis, I go to McDonald's. Right. And I get one of those number value meals. <laughs> but on Friday, come payday, yeah, I find myself at Red Lobster <laughs> trying to get some of those butter biscuits <laughs> and some fish. Yeah. Because I think I got a little more than normal. Amen. But we do these things because we feel ourselves. Mm. But what do we do for our fellow man and woman? All right. All right. All right. Because when it comes to giving, uh -huh. if you don't give out of what you have now, mm -hmm. you won't give anymore if you have more to give. All right. All right. Yeah. Some of us want to say that we do this, yeah, yeah. but we don't even give to the offering now. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We sit there and we watch the TV and we see the Shriners Hospital commercial come on. We see the Choa commercial come on and they ask yeah. you to donate and we turn the TV. Because mm -hmm. we don't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. They need to get their money like I get mine. But here's somebody in need. And here we are in a position where 15 or 20 dollars could help somebody else. Yeah. But we don't want to do that because it's going to take away from what we have. And if I don't see that I can get any benefit out of giving to you, I ain't going to do it. But here, the church folks. We always say that, you know, we want to help folks and we'll do this and we'll do that. And our church is all about helping and giving because we take up a missionary offering. Right. We take up a benevolent offering. Yeah, yeah. But we don't do that with it. <laughs> church has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. And some of them have a building fund for 60 of those years. And had put a new brick on the church bench. So we don't need to spend money on ourselves, so we know we ain't gonna spend no money on nobody else. Right. Do we really love the Lord? There's a danger of being arrogant because of wealth. And there's a danger of putting hope in your will. Mm -hmm. We are warned against such foolishness. <laughs> we can't put our concerns in worldly riches. We know that everything we have was given to us by God. Amen. We need to have a spirit of appreciation. Yes, yes, yes. But many of us get to the point where we start saying, I. Right. I got me a new car. Mm -hmm. right. I got me a nice job. Mm -hmm. 
I got me this big house. Huh. Yeah. But all of the I things you have can be gone in a twinkling of an eye. Amen. So we need to get the right attitude yeah. when it comes to what God is giving us yeah. in our lives. Yes, you can gain the whole world in goods and everything you can imagine you would want. But one day, everything you have gained in this life, you're going to leave behind. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you want to leave something to somebody, you need to get a closer relationship with God. Amen. Establish your relationship with God. And let other folks see your relationship with God. And let them start to mimic you because they're seeing a shining light on you that makes them want to change their life. Yeah. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. As we come into our text on today, we find the responsibility of the followers of Christ who have been blessed with wealth. Yeah. Note the first phrase in our <clears throat> theme on today in in verse 18, it says, let them do good. Mm -hmm. But we have to remember that verse 18 is just a continuation of verse 17. Yeah. So when we look at verse 17, we understand Paul gives instructions to Timothy by command. Mm -hmm. These are not suggestions given to Timothy. These are commands of things they are to do. There is a great responsibility placed on those who possess wealth. Yeah. And the command, the first responsibility, and the most basic of responsibilities is to do good. Yeah. Luke 12 and 48 emphasizes that along with the blessings we enjoy comes a great responsibility for everyone to whom much is given. Yes. For him much is required. Uh -huh. Although verse 17 speaks mostly on money, verse 18 switches over to the works. All right. uh -huh. You might not have all the money in the world, uh -huh. but you can still do the work of the Lord. Amen. You Amen. might not be the biggest tither here at Mount Newton yeah. Church, yeah. but that doesn't mean you can't share the good of God. Yeah, yeah. You might not have all of the financial things you want to have to be able to do what you want to do, but that does not mean you can't share the message that the pastor gives you every Sunday. Not having money does not stop you from being kind to your fellow man and woman each and every day. Yeah. Sharing the gospel yeah. with your neighbor. Yeah. Praying for someone yeah. in a time of need. Open words of encouragement. Do we really love the Lord? George Muller once said, God judges what we give by what we keep. He judges what we give by what we keep. That, make, that comes with scripture back. Mark 12, 41 and through 44 says, Now Jesus sat opposite of the treasure and saw how the people would put money into the treasure. And many who were rich put in much. Then one poor widow came and threw two mites, which make a point of so he called his disciples to himself and said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that this poor widow has put more than all those who have given to the treasure. For they all put it out of their abundance. But she, out of poverty, put all that she had. Here is a woman who understood what it was to be generous in giving. She had measured meager resources, but instead of keeping them to herself, she trusted it yes. with God. Amen. Amen. Do we really 
to love the Lord. After commanding the rich to do good, to be rich in works, to be ready to give and willing to share, Paul points out in verse 19 that they should consider the results. Yeah, yeah. Verse 19 says, storing up for themselves a good foundation for the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life. Yeah. In other words, the investment you make with your resources should be built towards eternity. Yeah. We have to have a vision of eternity in our minds. The same idea was expressed in Matthew 6 and 19 where it says, lay not up for yourselves treasures unto, upon earth where the moth and the rust doeth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. Yeah. But lay up for yeah. yourselves treasures in heaven yeah. where neither moth nor rust mm. doeth corrupt Amen. and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where you your treasure is, there will your heart be also. We need to get an eternity type of perspective in our lives when it comes to doing things with our money and with our time. Someday we'll no longer be on this earth and everything that we have won't even matter because there's no bridge truck going to the cemetery with none of us. All right, all right. And whatever you have, your children and grandchildren are going to give away or throw away because it won't mean the same thing to them that it meant to you. Amen. So what we need to do is store up our gifts and our treasures in God in heaven. Right. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Not only not only will we store up our, for ourselves a good foundation for the time to come by following God's guidelines on how we should use what he has given us. But Paul brings a question to us. What does it mean when Paul says to lay, that they may lay hold on eternal life? When we use our resources to honor God, not only are we laying up treasures for ourselves, but we're also pointing others to Christ. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Now don't, don't look at being a blessing to other folks like many of your friends. Mm. Because I go on Facebook quite often. And I see folks who they grab their phones and they got some shoes that they take off their feet. And when they take them off their feet and give to somebody, they got to take a picture <laughs> so other folks can see that they blessing somebody else. Well, that's not blessing nobody. That's trying to put on a show for the world. This world don't care nothing about you. What you need to be doing is putting on a show for God. We, we, we get so busy doing the things we want. 
But what are we doing for God? All right. God woke us up this morning. Yes, Lord. Amen. He didn't have to do it. Somebody, the wrong clock went off this yes. morning. And they couldn't move. Amen. But he saw fit yes. to let each and every one of us Amen. wake up this morning and have another chance to live a life that pleases God. Amen. 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 But we won't even give him a prayer. Mm. We jump up every morning going here and going there. Mm -hmm. And don't even say thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Amen. Amen. You get back home, you've been out in the world, you see car wrecks on the side of I-28 and even sometimes in your own neighborhood. And God protected you from each and every part of that. And you can't even give him thanks for what he's done for you. <sighs> but we find it so hard to give to him out of what he has blessed us with. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Many folks would love to give to God, mm -hmm. but they don't have the financial part to give. Mm -hmm. You have people in the streets mm -hmm. who are more willing to give in the way of God than church folks. Say that. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'll never forget being a kid. My dad sold life insurance. And back then, they used to go and do debit right. Uh -huh. And so they had to go to the folks and get the money. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, everybody didn't go home on Thursdays and Fridays when they got off of work with their check. <laughs> some of them went to the looker house. <laughs> I know none of y'all ever did it, but, but some folks went to look out. <laughs> and there we were one day at a look out. Mm -hmm. Me and my dad walked in. They, they let me in. Then we the preach. <laughs> <laughs> we go into a look at house and as a kid being a preacher, son, you hear a whole lot. Amen. You know? And I heard a story about one drunk stabbing another. Mm -hmm. And here they are sitting at the bar together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me being the kid I am, I'm, I'm, when I got questions, I'm going to ask. So I asked the one, didn't he stab you last week? <laughs> and the one that got stabbed threw his arm around the one that stabbed him and said, he didn't mean to do it. <laughs> we were both drunk. You didn't mean to do it. Did you? Oh, man. <laughs> And the one that got stabbed bought the one who stabbed him to the ring. <laughs> but let's get two church folks together. <laughs> and we get to argue over some money that neither one of us put in the church. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even speak no more. All right, say that now. Yes. Church folks are a little different. No <laughs> mm. Get them to come back out and look out. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Somebody will say, well, I'm going to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> them folks doing better than we do in this church. <laughs> that ain't what I say. <laughs> In the last right. But all of us in the church have to take on the spirit of service. Yes, yes. I don't care who you are in the church, mm -hmm. you got to be willing to serve. Yes. Amen. 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 Some folks think that once you get into a certain position, mm -hmm. People ought to serve you. Mm. All right. mm. But from the pulpit, mm. that the word minister mm -hmm. means serve. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. The word feet. 
means servant. Now, if the preacher is servant, if the deacons are servant, the entire church ought to be serving and working with each other. All right. Think about if the whole world began to be willing to serve. The peace and harmony the world would have. There's an old proverb that says charity begins at home. That's right. Amen. That's right. For the world to be a better place, I believe the church must become a better place. All right. Amen. Amen. We have to get back to loving mm. on each other. Uh -huh. mm. Amen. Amen. Like in the olden days. Amen. Men working together for the good of those that love the Lord. Mm. Churches are empty mm. these Amen. days. Yes, sir. Amen. And it's not because people stopped coming to church mm. during COVID mm. and never came back. Mm. It's not because they can now watch church on TV, mm. Facebook, and mm. YouTube. Mm. Yeah. That's not what's keeping folks out of church. All right. Churches are empty because of the folks in the church. All right. Amen. Amen. The folks in the church are the ones running folks away Amen. from the church. Amen. Because they don't see you on Sunday morning when you dress up like that. When, when we put our suits on and our dresses on and we straighten up with the makeup and throw our wigs on right and, and we, we, we come nice, put on our good colognes and perfumes and we sit down for a good hour. And we put on a good show right. for that hour. Right. But as a kid, we used to go to the fair. Yeah. And when we go to the fair, they had animals and stuff at the fair. Yeah. Yeah. And they had a thing where they have pigs, mm -hmm. where they judge the pigs. Uh -huh. And what you would see is both throw bow ties yeah. on the pigs, and they would they put you know things around the pig ears and. You know, the, the pig look real pretty. Yeah. They done clean them up no more. They ain't been in the slop today. And the pig is clean. Yeah. But the thing about the pig is, right. even after you dress them up real good, you clean them up real good, he's still a pig. Will I hear from him? Yeah. 
and forgive their sin, mm -hmm. and I will heal yeah. their land. Yes. The beauty of God is we don't have to wait to get to heaven mm -hmm. to get his blessing. Yeah. If you live a life that is on pace with God, mm -hmm. you can be going through all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And folks will be wondering, how do you still not lose your mind? Mm -hmm. You just lost your job, mm -hmm. but everything is all right with you. Yeah. You just lost your husband or wife, yeah. but everything is still all right with you. You just lost your best friend, yeah. but everything is still all right with you. Because the Bible I will never leave you, no, no. nor forsake My God, He yes. always yes. 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 this means that yes. this means that I challenge the entire church yes. to start working together for the betterment yes. of the kingdom of God. Yes. Let's work to bring the folks back to the church. Let's work to bring the folks back to God. Let the Lord can't do it by itself. He's not here to do it by itself, but the church.